this program, we will be working with the PhotoCell in the MakeCode software. Our objective for this is to identify that anytime it becomes dark, we should see a down arrow on our micro bit, and anytime it is light, we should see an up arrow. So the first thing we'll need to do is to identify which type of event handler will start our program. In this case, we would like to see a forever loop since we will want our program to continuously check to whether it is light or dark out. So under the basic drawer, we will identify the forever event handler and drop that into our program. The next thing we will need to do is to identify our variable. That variable will be linked to a pin, which will then read the value of whichever pin it is connected to. So under our variable drawer, we will need to make a new variable. We will call this photo cell. Now that we have made a variable, we need to assign it to read the value of a pin. So we are gonna set that photo cell to zero, and we're gonna change that zero to read one of the pins. So under the advanced and then pin drawer, we will look for our analog read pin. Since a photo cell is analog, we will need to drop that into that zero. So now my variable photo cell is now reading what pin zero is going to put out. From here, we will need to identify what conditions we need to meet. In this case, we have two conditions, if it is dark or if it is light. So under your logic drawer, we will need to select an if else statement. Now, since we have an if else statement, we really only have to identify one condition. In this case, we can go ahead and identify the condition of whether it is dark. So if, under logic, we will need to grab a comparison block and we're gonna drop that into our true statement. So now we have, if zero is less than zero, then something will happen. We're gonna go ahead and take our variable photo cell, which we have already linked to read whatever the value of pin zero is. So we are saying, if the value of pin zero is less than, and since the photo cell has a range of 1,023, let's go ahead and pick somewhere in the middle, let's say 650. Anytime that number goes down, our photo cell is reading more darkness. So if the photo cell is less than 650, we should see a down arrow. So we'll go ahead and drag in our show LEDs and we can go ahead and create a down arrow. That leaves us with our else statement. If the if statement is not less than 650, the else will actually apply here. So we can go ahead and duplicate our down arrow, and we'll just go ahead and switch that and make that a vertical arrow. And now we have our program of our photo cell to read dark or light. So you can see our value of pin zero at the moment is zero, and we do have a down arrow. And if we put that above 650, it should switch back and forth. 